past the umpire, Bowles, on the middle stump, takes the edge and finds the gap between gully and second slip. On both sides, it's bad Bowles, that's and Whiteman's driving shot. down the ground, and that'll be four. Again, that's not too bad from Jackson Bird, it was a must. Remember standing in, Wyman's pulling, and I think that's come off the glove, and that's out. Oh. Well, thank you, it's Rainbow Bowls, and Marsh is cutting on the up, and cuts it over the court, and then that runs away for four. 913, 913. As Marsh is working that one through the court, and beats third slip and gully, and that'll race away to the Ooh, boundary. Only just got there. This morning, about seven bowlers, and one Marsh is, Marsh is driving that half volley from Rainbow down the ground, and that's four. Two slips and a gully as Green reaches for a drive and hits it superbly through the covers for four. That wasn't a half volley, he reached out for that. The bowler's probably thinking, oh, I'm half a chance here, but he little wasn't able to come here to uh, Perth. And maybe Neil Smith is wishing he wasn't here because he's just been drilled through the covers for four. Yes. Moves to bowls again, back of a length, and Marsh is pulling that away, and that's going to be four. Freeman had no chance of stopping that as a Freeman. Maybe one day we'll talk about him in the same light. He's bowling. Oh, oh that was Mar almost a catch. Marsh is driving. He just beats the outstretched hand. Yeah, he's got two slips in a gully. He bowls, and Marsh is edging. Has he? 10,000 runs and take 300 wickets. Mitch Marsh here is going to get runs, though, through mid-wicket. Powerfully times. Matthew Wade's putting in a strong chase to the boundary, but the ball has enough pace. It's the final ball. Freeman looking to repeat history. Bowls, and it's knocked away on the leg side. Right back on his crease again and keeps it out to mid-wicket, and that is the end of the over and the end of the session. He's the captain of this Tasmanian team, using his feet, driving down the ground is green, and he picks off, mid-off being too wide, and gets four runs down through that vacant region. Made the final. Stepping back is green, he's heaved this hard and high, and he's going to clear the boundary here, I think. Freeman bowls to green, who takes on the pull shot, he has hit this hard, there's a fielder going back, but he can't go back that far. Bird is going to send down at him. He does here, and he clips it straight to mid-wicket. God. The wicket is with him now, and he's guiding through the point region. There's no one behind point. That's four runs. And that is going down to the boundary in front of the Inverity stand for four. Once they beat the infield, there's no one at cover. There's no one at point. Rainbird starts new over, and bowls full outside the off stump, and that's an easy shot for Mitchell Marsh. He just opens the face of the bat and steers it behind point for four. A 21 or under to achieve that. Down the pitch comes oh, Inglis. He finds a gap. He beats Wade at mid-wicket. The ball's been chased back by Neil Smith to the boundary, and he can't get it either. Four for 167. Marsh is oh, gone! Oh, God. Oh, dear me. Stumps around Rainbow Bowles down the leg side, and that's well worked. Out in the leg side, there was Inverted Bowles. He's back and pulled away. That should be four. This that's going to meet the picket fence in front of the scoreboard. Uh, Waits now. He's edging and yeah. out. With something along those lines. Spring Bowles shot. full. English drives on the half falling it's into the fence. Into English. Outside the off stop, he's caught. What a, oh, yep. What's going to happen here? That's Play a beautiful shot. On. Over pitch from Webster. And just a twirl of the wrists. Third bowl to Kelly. Chases a drive and smashes oh, it. God. Pass shot, Rooster. Out three cover point for four. Get Rainbirds on the runway again. He bowls outside off stump and that's driven. Oh. And out to the boundary for four. You're not stopping that here at the Wacker. Which is just untimely. Great right shot. In there and that's down the ground. That should race away. Neil Smith in bold. Why the off stump cracked hard out through the covers. Man running around at the uh, deep cover point. Won't deep backward point. Neil Smith in. Down the leg side. Comes off the thigh guard, I think. Down through leg gully for four. Around the wicket, tosses this one up. Oh, he bowled him. He's let it go. He's shouldered arms. And the change of ends and bowling change has worked for Tasmania. Kelly is 10. It's Freeman bowls, and he does advance this time, and he gets it over mid on. Silk was poised. It was halfway to the boundary. It's JC Silk, 14. This is a lusty blow from Cameron Gann, and he has smashed this into the members for oh, six. on the roof. That is a massive hit from Blink. As Bird bowling with the old ball, bowls outside the off stump, and Kelly says thank you very much. Punches it up and out through the offside for four. That was a beautiful shot. It's Bird, third ball of this particular spell, and he draws an outside edge, and it rolls away between third slip and gully for four. Bird bowling from the uh, outside edge, caught! Low down! Jackson Bird breaks through. 
and Kelly is out, bowling from the printable stand end, drew the outside edge, went low to gully, Doran with a sharp catch, and he's at the non-strikers end, as Rainbird races in and bowls to Gannon, who oh. swings it in the air, he is going to be caught at mid-on, and Gannon departs to give Tasmania victory, and Sam Rainbird finishes what he started late last night, well played Tasmania, they have comprehensively outplayed Western Australia here at the WACA over the last four days. Gunnan, the last man, trying to hit over the infield, completely miscued, and the catch taken over his right shoulder by Freeman, who played his part in this game with the ball, completes the game with the catch, and Rainbird has four wickets. West Australia all out for 304, a win by 175 runs for the Tasmanian Tigers.